What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video we have yet another battle of the miners for Ironfish. We've got a new release from BZ Miner version 15.2.0, and he has improved efficiency on Ironfish, so we're going to take a look at it compared to Rigel Miner and LOL Miner. Now if that kind of content sounds good to you, do me a favor, hit that like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so by the end of the video. So at the time of recording, it is May 28th, 2023, and Ironfish has had a pretty significant pump today. It's up about 23% at this moment, and it was up to $2.51 earlier today. And because of that, it looks like on hashrate.no at $0.13 cents per kilowatt hour, Ironfish is one of the most profitable things to mine depending on which GPU you have. Also, hash rate has dropped significantly uh, over the last couple of days, as you can see. It's starting to turn back up a little bit because, of course, it is at the top of the profitability charts here. But we've got a new release from BZ Miner. So first up, we've got LOL Miner version 1.76. This has been out for about three weeks now. And as you can see, the dev fee is 0.75%. Next up, we've got BZ Miner's new version 15.2.0 with a dev fee of 1%, and Rigel Miner, which is about four days old, version 1.4.8, has the lowest dev fee at 0.07%. Let's go ahead and jump into HiveOS so that you guys can see how I've got this set up. So currently, we're on BZ Miner version 15.2.0. Now keep in mind, if you are not on the latest version of Hive, you will need to update that in order to have access to the latest version of BZ Miner. So it's a pretty easy flight sheet to set up. I'll just give you guys an example here. So we've got Ironfish as our coin. We've got Ironfish wallet. I'm using Hero Miners for testing and we're on BZ Miner. And if we take a look at the setup config here, you can see that I have my overclock settings set within the extra config arguments. Now, I do recommend putting all of your overclocks within each miner, so we'll go ahead and cover each of the overclock settings for each miner now. And now let's go ahead and take a look at my Excel spreadsheet comparing the differences between them. So over here we've got BZ Miner 15.2.0, in the middle we've got Rigel 1.4.8, and on the right hand side we've got LOL Miner version 1.76. As you can see we've got a 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, and a 4070. On this left hand column here we are using core offset of 300, locked core at 1545, locked memory at 810, and then the middle column we have a core offset of 300, locked core of 1305, of course lock memory at 810 and then the bottom column here we've got a core offset of 300 locked core at 1650 and locked memory at 810 and we've also got profitability based on 15 cents per kilowatt hour as well as 10 cents per kilowatt hour so when it comes to the 3060 ti with a locked core of 1545 we got an efficiency rating of 141.54 versus rigel minor 137.76 versus LOL Miner 141.23. So as far as efficiency is concerned, it looks like on a 3060 Ti, your choice between LOL Miner and BZ Miner are going to be more efficient than Rigel Miner. However, let's take a look at the hash rate differences. So we have roughly just over 10 giga hash at 71 watts on BZ Miner versus just over 10 giga hash actually almost 10.5 giga hash at 76 watts and then LOL miner coming in at 10.3 giga hash at 73 watts now for the 3070 we're at 12.15 giga hash at 91 watts versus Rigel miner at 12.68 at 95 watts versus LOL miner 12.43 giga hash at 92 watts so as you can see, we have a pretty consistent theme here where Rigel Miner does have higher hash rate, but a little bit lower efficiency. However, that doesn't seem to make much of a difference when it comes to profitability. 
and I'll just kind of scroll down here so that you guys can see it's pretty consistent across the board that all of them are very very close in profitability whether you're looking at 10 cents or 15 cents per kilowatt hour so that being said let's just take a look at our profitability numbers here so we're at two dollars and 37 cents in revenue and 39 cents in profit at 15 cents per kilowatt hour versus 247 and 39 versus 243 and 39 so at 15 cents per kilowatt hour with these settings all of them are going to yield you 39 cents in profit per day as far as 10 cents per kilowatt hour is concerned you're looking at a dollar six versus a dollar ten versus a dollar nine so with a lower price per kilowatt hour rigel miner is actually on top then when it comes to the most efficient settings we can typically find that 1305 locked core is going to be as efficient as you can get really and if we take a look at profitability we've still got 39 cents here at 15 cents per kilowatt hour on bz minor versus 38 cents versus 40 cents so in this particular category it looks like lol minor is actually the most profitable but by a very insignificant margin in my opinion and if we take a look at 10 cents per kilowatt hour we're at 94 cents 96 cents and 96 cents so it looks like lol minor and rigel minor are going to be tied here and when it comes to shooting for higher hash rate with lower efficiency at 15 cents per kilowatt hour we're looking at 34 cents on bz minor versus 35 cents on rigel minor and 33 cents on lol minor and at 10 cents per kilowatt hour we're looking at a dollar eight versus a dollar 13 versus a dollar 10. so in this particular case rigel minor is actually going to give you the highest amount of profit even though the efficiency is just slightly under what bz minor offers so if we take a look at efficiency only it does look like bz minor is the most efficient miner but when it comes to profitability at 10 cents or 15 cents per kilowatt hour getting the higher hash rate on rigel miner is going to give us a little bit more profit so this was a really really close comparison one of the closest that i've done so far so hats off to all three of these devs they're doing a fantastic job in making sure that you guys get every ounce of profit that you possibly can. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.